Hi, this is Julie Hyatt with Three Sisters Sundries, and I'm here with my daughter Ellen today. Say hi. Hi. And I have a thrift haul to show you. I got some really great deals and some fun things for junk journaling. So we're going to start out with the books. So uh, I found this Disney animation art book. Um, so it just has all the sketches and bump on the table. Sorry. All the sketches and um, lithographs and all sorts of fun stuff that I thought would be great in junk journals. These these pictures. And I just got a hymn book um, just because I like having the hymns and I like this bright white paper here. Then I found this treasury of fairy tales. Oh, I wanted to tell you how much everything was. The hymn book was a dollar. And shoot, this book doesn't have a price on it, but they, it was probably a dollar for that small one. Anyway, uh, this one was two dollars, but the illustrations in here are beautiful. So I thought they would be great for, um, and look at that. That is so detailed and, oh, you can't really see that very well, can you? Anyway, it's very detailed and beautiful. Um, but some gorgeous watercolor paintings and, I mean, just beautiful artwork. So I had to get that one. And I found a lot of vintage games. I got this, um, here, let's get these out of the way, Ellen. Yeah. I got this Fantasyland uh, Disney game, and um, it's got to be from the 60s, or I know, I know Disneyland opened in what, 55, but oh. Disney movies started a lot earlier than that, so um, this game was $1.50, um, but I love the box, and I have to show you the box, or the board it is really cool okay, look at that beautiful that beautiful i'm gonna move you beautiful board it is so cool and it looks to me like all the pieces are here it's even got it's even got the part that the pieces were punched out of still but it's got all these little all these little stars that have the points and ride tickets it looks like those are so this must have been after disneyland opened and then the dice so it's got all the pieces and uh but i just loved the illustrations on it so pretty here put that one out of the way and then I found this vintage puzzle also that I just love the box. And look at that. That is probably, I've got to say, at least 60s, maybe even 50s. I mean, the puzzle was 49 cents originally. I paid a dollar for it at the thrift store. But the pieces are really thick. And look how thick those are and big. So there aren't very many... There aren't very many pieces. It's only a 330 piece puzzle, but um, I can't decide whether I want to keep that. I love puzzles, so I may just keep that and put it together myself and maybe even maybe even glue it together and hang it on the wall or something. And then I got this, let's turn it around so they can see, sentence builder. Um, this is probably from the 60s or 70s maybe, and it has all of the words and letters and a lot of them are still hooked together don't tear them apart please um but anyway so okay so that one was kind of fun that was a dollar the puzzle was a dollar also and then i just got a variety of various things that i thought would be good to have so i got this tool and it's quite a bit on there um for a dollar I got some big recipe cards, and I have a, well, maybe I don't have a box, but anyway, um, these are Paula Deen recipe cards. I got these for 50 cents, and it's a brand new package, it looks like, and there are 20 in there. 
This was only 50 cents, and that's yeah, beautiful. This beautiful lace. Let's see if we can take it out and see what it looks like under the price tag, because it was really hard, really hard to see under there. Look at that beautiful lace with beading and sequins for only 50 cents. And then this was, I think this was 75 cents. Yeah, 75 cents for this little album. 10 things I love about my daughter. Yeah. And then I love to do junk journals, so I found this lined paper, but there's, look at all those colors it comes in. It has one, two, three, four, five different colors. Yellow and green and pink and blue and purple. So those will be great in junk journals. This was originally $2.99. And I don't know what the price is Oh, now. the paper was 75 cents. Yeah, I don't know how much she gave that to me for. Maybe 50 cents. Anyway, some doilies with holly on them. Then I found two of these packages of little Halloween bags that have, I think they're, you know, like clear plastic in, in for the mouth and then eyeball stickers. So they come in three different colors. And I found two of those. I thought those would be fun to give out to good friends for Halloween. Okay, you need to take this out of the bag here. One second. No, it doesn't need to come out of the bag. Well, maybe it does because the price tag's kind of in the way. But anyway, these are stocking decorations. I don't know. But, um, so these are 50 cents. And look, the nose lights up on the reindeer. Anyway, that's a cute little reindeer. And then in that same section, I found a little tree that also lights up. There were a whole bunch, but I found one that lit up. So that is pretty cute. And that is also a stocking decoration. So it comes with a little pin that would just have to be glued back on. But I thought that was cute. This was 66 cents, I think. Uh, probably 50 cents. Anyway, this is another little decorate your stocking, but it's a little frame. I thought that was really cute. I'd probably take the pin off the back and use that in a, I don't know, use that in a journal or something. This was 50 cents. Little doilies, little tiny doilies. And I love doilies, and look how tiny these are. Um, and this is a Stampin' Up! Uh, product, so I'm sure it was a lot more than 50 cents originally. This was beautiful, and it is 75 cents, which was amazing. It is a mouse pad, but it looks like a flying carpet. It even has fringe on the end. So I think I might try and take the foam off the back. Oh, looks like it's kind of peeling off anyway. I think I'll take the foam off the back and just use this. This would be a beautiful journal cover know, or I'm something. Anyway, that. it's it's pretty cool. And then just some basic papers. I got a ledger, ledger paper, because I like this lighter color. I got some, I got some matte photo paper. Oh, let's see, this ledger was a was 50 cents, and this I mouse pad that. was 75. This photo paper was a dollar, and there's still quite a bit left in here. There's quite a few sheets in there. Oh, this is just a regular... And then this is just a sketch pad, but I liked the weight of this paper. It's really thin. Um, anyway, I like the weight of it. It's kind of crinkly sounding. So that was 50 cents. And this is... And this is a specialty paper for 75 cents. And so it was... It's got like fall leaves on it. I thought those would be pretty in a junk journal also. Okay, last two things. I got these uh, little nylon tool circles. Yeah. So okay, in pink. Circles. Yeah, they're cut into circles, yeah. and I think they are they're kind of glittery. Cents. They were 50 cents, so those are really cute. I think I might already have a project I can use those in. Mm -hmm. We'll wrapping see. Paper. And then this is really and pretty wrapping paper. Cute wrapping paper. It has birds on it. Yeah, I think it's vintage, maybe from the 70s, but those birdies are really cute. Oh, let me turn mm -hmm. them around so you can see them better, right side up. And then it has words on it, and it says, a mother's love is a precious gift. Yeah, so it's kind of crinkled in the middle, but that's okay, because I think I'm just going to use it for junk journals. And it was 75 cents for that roll. Yep. So, I did pretty good. I got a lot of things for under $20 for all of that. So... Uh, thanks for watching. Give us Bye. a thumbs up. Bye. Bye.